Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Digital Studio. I am your man out of Japan, Jay Contra, and we are here to read a label from Mandarake. Mandarakes are all over Japan. Well, I mean to say they're in the bigger cities of Japan. So there's the one in Akihabara, there's one in Nakano in Tokyo, there's Nagoya, um, uh, Osaka, uh, Fukuoka, and like Sapporo. And I believe all of the, all of the, um, all their labels are the same, although they have changed recently. Uh, and let's let's even just get into it um, quite quickly. So, Mandarake is, I think, pretty notorious, at least in my personal experience, for being the most strict in terms of grading. Whereas, like, to be an A graded game, there has to be absolutely nothing wrong. There has to be not even a single scratch. A scratch on it will, will bring it bring it down to B. <laughs> <laughs> as you can see on this one. And they are also the most notorious for if you do find that mint pristine copy, it is going to be probably the most expensive you'll see it in Japan, except for maybe Super Potato. So um, let's talk about the label. Let's also talk about maybe even the, the buying experience or what you'll find um, in Mandarake as we go through the label. So we look, we start at the top left. We've got the disc. This is usually referring to the data side of the disc. It's not, I think it's, it mostly is referring to the overall, the overall quality of the disc, but the most points that will ever get knocked off is on the data side of the disc, because that's obviously the, mo the most likely area that is going to get scratched. But if there's any smudges or scratches on the top layer, um, they'll, also, they'll also knock points off for that. We see here that from the A to the C scale, what is new to me is the sort of the A with the apostrophe. That's something that I've started to notice within the last, I want to say about year of what I've seen in Japan. And I think what's been happening is that because everyone or the, the, the money has been flowing towards those pristine copies, I think they've brought out like the A minus to be like, it's not pristine, but it's still really good. Although personally, like a, like a like a C graded game is still really really good. Um, that, that but that's just been been my experience. Um, something you also need to note. Um, let's see, there because there's the disc, there's the manual, there's the OB. The O yeah, the OB does not have. It, the OB does not get graded on the A to the C scale, but they will tell you if there's something up with it. Uh, but I'm getting ahead of uh, of what we're doing. So we've got the disc here. Um, I should also mention that all of the games in Mandarake have been tested and will work fine. I actually don't know about Mandarake's return policy. For some reason, off the top of my head, I want to say that Mandarake does not have a return policy. But I don't believe that's true because every other store in, in Tokyo and really in Japan has some kind of like one anywhere from one week to like a 90 day return policy. For some reason, I want to say that Mandarake does not, but I don't have any proof of that. So I don't want to say that's true. Okay, so we've, so we've got the disc at the very top. Now let's go down to the manual. Um, the manual, the Setsume Show, this is also going to be um, something that they're going to grade quite strictly. Um, so basically your A grade is going to be, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Um, B is pro is going to be some maybe like curling at the bottom right be of the manual because that seems to be what happens um, to this, to, to manuals just in general. Something that also happens to manuals in Japan is if you're not familiar, uh, Japan gets very hot and very humid, especially during the summer, but really basically any season, it's going to get very humid because it rains a lot and it rains very heavily. Meaning that if you leave your game basically out of a closet, and even if it is in a closet or somewhere protected, it's probably going to start getting like the, the paper will start to like get wavy. This has happened to all of my books, all of my comic books, uh, most of my games, the manuals have started to get really wavy just because they absorb moisture. Um, it's there's possibly a way where you can dry them out, but I've never had any success <laughs> in just some of the limited testing that I've done. Uh, so, oh yeah, and I should mention that this is actually, this label is on, um, what did I, oh, it was Gunspike for the Dreamcast. Uh, that was the last game that I bought uh, at Mandarake as I was leaving. So that is the label that we are looking at, the label for the copy of Gunspike that I purchased. 
or is it Gun Cannon? It's it's the um like the the Psycho um, Street Fighter game for the Dreamcast. Okay, so beneath the manual, we've got the Obi, which is the spine card. Now, this is necessary to be considered a complete game for any disc-based system that comes where the games come in a jewel case. So I'm talking PlayStation 1, Dreamcast, um, Sega Saturn, that, that sort of that lineage. Even PC Engine CD games um, came with an Obi. Um, and here it just says, does it have it or does it not have it? It is not on, graded on the A to the C scale. However, let's look down here on the notes. So we've got beneath the Obi, we've got notes. This is where they'll tell you if, um, if it's missing something or if there's any significant problems. Now here it says that the, the manual, the Obi, that's the kanji in the center, and then we've got the jacket, and I believe the jacket is referring to the jewel case. So here it says, um, let's see, manual, obi, jacket, and itami dai uh, in the notes. Now what that means is that um, it has some kind of damage to it. Now there's the itami show, which is like a small amount of damage, and there's the itami dai amount of damage. In my experience, I cannot tell the difference between the two, if it just exists, like it's just like, oh my God, we need to knock like $3 off the price of this. So Itami Dai can be anything to like a very, like almost microscopic rip. I think a rip would be considered a die. Um, there can be um, some kind of folding. It could be like a, like a very, like scratches on the case. It could be pretty much anything. Um, having looked at this game, I didn't see any major flaws with it. So this is just one of those cases where um, someone who is who is grading the game to go out onto the show floor, and I, and I mean grading, I don't mean grading like VGA grading or WADA grading. I just mean evaluating the condition so that they can uh, that, so that they can um, put a price tag on this. Um, and at Mandarake, at virtually every place, except for perhaps Sudugaya, um, anytime there's any like um, corner edge wear or label fade or, you know, if the, the manual has like a, a fold in it for whatever reason, that's going to be some, some, some dollars off the price or some yen off the price. And that's, those are the games that I go for because I'm not a stickler for condition. So if I could get, you know, so Gun Spike um, is normally like anywhere from like a, <laughs> an 80 to a $90 game if it was in really good condition. But I bought the $70 version of the game because I, I, I don't really care that much. So that's, that's a way you can save money, particularly at Mandarake where I think something, something that is in, really intimidating about Mandarake is you go in and you see the price on their integrated games. But if you find their C-graded games, they can actually be a lot cheaper than the standard price at a place like even Trader, which has good prices, or Friends, which has good prices, or Sudugaya, which has really good prices. The other big thing that we need to note about this label is the price tag. So you can see here on the sort of the, um, what's sort of sideways is the price, which is 7,200 yen. And then if you look at the kanji next to it, it says that the price is separate. What you need to know about Japan is that um, the consumption tax has really actually changed a lot um, over the last few years. When I went to Japan, it was 5%. Um, a few years later, it was 8%. And then I think it was in 2019 or 2018, it went up to 10%. So that means the base price of this game is 7,200 yen. But really, when you go to the register, they will, they're going to charge you about 8,000 yen. You know, it's going to be an extra 720 yen. So it's going to be 7,920 yen. Mandarake, I believe, does do tax-free shopping. So if you are visiting Japan, if you are in Japan on a visitor's visa, you, if you bring your passport with you to the shop, um, you give it to them with the receipt. I think you have to do it at a special counter, although sometimes you can do it at the register. I've never done it myself because I've never been a tourist in Japan, not yet at least. <laughs> and they will, they will then, I think you have to pay the tax first and then they refund you. I, I'm not entirely sure how, how it happens. I've done it with my, my parents once uh, when they were visiting on, uh, at another store. Um, but just keep that in mind, especially when you're looking at the prices. Not every shop will um, include tax in their prices. Places like um, Super Potato and um, Sudugaya do include the price of tax in their price. But I know for sure that Mandarake and Trader do not. 
So when you're looking at the price of the game, also include that when you're shopping around. And that's what I should also say is that even though I'll talk up about how great Mandarake is when you're buying the, the damaged games, the C-graded games, make sure you're shopping around, you're comparing both the price and the condition of games at other stores before you end up purchasing your game. So that way you can, it may take a little bit of extra time, but for one, you're gonna wanna go to the, all of the shops anyways. And for two, you can save yourself a lot of money. I'm talking anywhere upwards of 20 to 30, maybe even 50% on some games. And that's money that you could be using for other things like either enjoying Japan, buying yourself some sushi, or of course, buying yourself some more games. Uh, so I think we've hit everything here. I mean, there's some extra stuff. Um, I love it whenever you try to take pictures of this, sometimes the QR code um, will show up and it'll give you a weird readout in Safari. Um, there's also, what I what I really love doing is um, they actually have the name of the evaluator right in the center, um, like in between um, the, the grade and the price. I love comparing the, the condition of games and then seeing that they have the same evaluator and then being like, you know, they'll be like wildly different. Like one will be an A grade, one be, will be a C grade. And then you look at them yourself and you're like, I don't, I can't tell the difference between these. <laughs> it's like, but it was rated by the same person. That's what I love about some of these. Um, other than that, I don't think there's anything uh, much else to say about this. It's very straightforward. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please leave me a comment on this or any of my other videos. I will also have um, this picture up with a more detailed written explanation on my website, jcontra.com. So if you're visiting Japan and you do have a cell phone with you, um, you can look that up while you're looking at these just to make sure that you know what each thing actually means. Although I do think actually in the shop, they've, they've started in the last couple of years, they do have, I don't know if they actually translate the, um, they do have signs up that will give you, like what does an A grade mean? What does a B grade mean? Um, I don't know if they'll actually explain like what the disc means or what like how, how to translate Setsume Show or what Obi actually means. I don't know if they do that, but they will at least have um, like explanations for the grades. Although I think they're all basically the same to me. There's either something that is mint and untouched or something that has like two scratches on it and that's a C. But that's just my personal opinion. So uh, other than that, before I can continue rambling uh, about how great it is to buy Japanese video games, I have been your man out of Japan, Jay Contra, saying thanks for watching, see you next time, and mahalo.